Hello everyone, so in celebration of um, this game being released, yeah I've got it, um, today we're going to be looking at a little more of a different topic and we're going to be looking at the top 5 Spider-Man times that he's been in other video games. Now what does this mean? Well, this means that if it's got Spider-Man in the title, we do not include it, but we do include other stuff that doesn't have the word Spider-Man in it, and yeah, there's gonna be at least five. Here's the intro. Number five, Marvel vs. Capcom, the one that came out in 2017. Now, this um, game, from what I know from the series, I've played the demo, I'm pretty shit at it, but it's basically Marvel characters and Capcom characters coming together to stop what's ever happening in the world, and apparently worlds did collide, and then they were not able to, like, we do, we undone the damage. Characters from Capcom such as uh, Chris Wenfield, uh, Nemesis, uh, I had including uh, Frank West, um, Mega Man, and much more, including people from Marvel like Iron Man, uh, Captain America, Thor, Spider Man, and much, much more made an appearance in this game. The suffering of everyone. <laughs> I will savor it. Our intel was right. Ultron Sigma has two of the infinite six. Six cosmic stones of infinite power. This is no small task, but Ultron Sigma must be destroyed. A suicide mission into the heart of enemy territory? I'm interested. Tell me more. All teams, engage! Do you see now how powerless you truly are? If we're gonna stop Ultron Sigma, we need the Infinity Stones. Release me. Stark and Rocket say he's dangerous. No, I said INSANELY dangerous! I will give you what you want. We're out of options and out of time. I'm sorry, Cap. I can't let you do it. Number 4. Disney Infinity 2.0 and 3.0. Now, in this, um, I heard apparently that they had plans to do Spider-Man Homecoming for this, including having a bit more of a Captain America Civil War, but unfortunately they never made those plans, and of course, eventually got cancelled. But, uh, Spider-Man is in these two games. Now, when you get him in 2.0, I know that 2.0 and 1.0 characters do work on 3.0. They do, even till this day, but... <laughs> Uh, take a shot at it. Now, from what I know, Spider-Man does have his own story. I'm not so sure if he makes a cameo in any of these, because to be honest, Disney Infinity games for me, they're frustrating in a way that I can't play them anymore. Then basically they're not for me. But all I know is he is in those uh, two games. <laughs> Number three, Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. Now, the reason why I'm mentioning this more than the other Lego games is the fact that he had is, I think he has more suits than the other ones. Um, he did in this. You can play as the Infinity War uh, suit. You've also got the Homecoming suits you have, and there's a bit more variety on this and. Again, Lego Spider-Man is Lego Spider-Man does it compared to anything of the nowadays stuff like with this new game. I don't think so, but if you want Spider-Man's uh, Lego content that's good, then this may be the game for you. The levels may not be as to standards, but yeah, bear warning, uh, the first couple of levels are really long. You could probably need at least two or three hours to complete the first half of it. Number 
Shall I two? Lego Marvel Superheroes. Yeah, I know. Look, I don't have time to research. Lego Marvel Superheroes was the first game that I ever played that has to do with Lego and Marvel and Pum. Now, this one was, these Lego games, um, if it's not about movies and in their, in their own separate timeline they are, they may have DLC related to this, but in all the ways it is different. Now, did I end up actually completing this game when I was younger? Yes, I did, but uh, I don't have it with me anymore. Um, uh, yeah, I, that's all I can really say about it. Coming out of the walls! Finally at number one we've got Marvel Powers Unlimited VR. Now, VR games will go up top of anything else if there isn't anything like the game that we've got today. Now, Spider-Man is in this, I've seen the trailer but I haven't seen that much gameplay. Now, the, unfortunately this is only on one thing and one thing only, the Oculus Swift. If you want it on any other VR headsets then you can't. Or, I don't know, you don't know what happens in these worlds, like, things can take a long time. In this, you, from what I know, basically, you play as different characters and you get to control them a bit more. Kind of, this is kind of like extending to what the Spider-Man Homecoming VR did, compared to this. So there, I hope you enjoyed this video, um, if there's no videos on the weekend then I'm playing this, I am, like it's super addictive and that like, the Infinity War skin is honestly amazing, uh, yeah, because I pre-ordered the game I did. Anyway, <laughs> uh, when should you respect with you? Don't know, maybe in the next coming weeks I want to complete this, so I think at the moment it'll just be playing two games. Battlefront 2 and then also this one so uh, yeah I'm pretty excited for the DLC I will be getting the season pass when it comes to it many people are not liking that they're doing that well if we get more content then I guess we're doing better than EA at the moment no diss to dice though anyway peace guys see ya and if you're playing this well enjoy <laughs>